Hey, this is Sam Black with my third match with Zombies and Legacy. On the draw, I'm going to keep my hand. This hand is not the most exciting, but it can get better pretty easily. It has a good mix of lands and spells. I'm not terribly worried about getting thoughts eased. Not sure what to put my opponent on. I'm just going to play Blood Nether Gravecrawler. Discard Bloodcast and a land. Play Badlands. Get back Bloodcast. Play Thoughtseize. I guess I take Liliana and I can therapy abrupt decay if my opponent does something else. Powers up the Tarmogoyf, but that's acceptable. Well, that doesn't really do anything though. I still think I take it. Decide if I want Blood Braid or the other Abrupt Decay. If I want, I could take Blood Braid and then therapy myself on Blood Ghast by sacrificing Blood Ghast and then play Blood Ghast to get, or play Badlands to get Blood Ghast back. But I don't think that's worth doing. I think I just main abrupt decay and then flash it back and get blood braid. And then I think my plan is to play Blood Sandmire and Cutthroat, and then likely flashback Faithless Looting, discarding the Blood Ghast in the future.
not really sure what my opponent could possibly be waiting for right now. Um, there are no plays that can be made except sacrifice in the Burning Catacombs, so might have lost the connection. Um, thinking about previous matches, um, it occurs to me that the Urborg Justice um, in previous iterations it has basically taken the slot of a go for the throat, which would have been quite a bit better in the one game where I drew Urborg Justice, as I could have just killed the Grimag Angler with it. So, um, very weak first outing for Urborg Justice. Um, making a case for go for the throat or a tragic slip being a better option in that slot. Um, playing against more Termogoyf decks than I had been hoping. Maybe Termogoyf is just always going to be very common in Legacy, regardless of what the single most played decks are. There are just too many decks that are moderately played that are about Termogoyf. I wonder if my opponent was just hoping I'd forget what I was doing if they waited long enough. to draw Lingering Souls. That's kind of oddly helpful. I don't have anything else to spend my mana on. can't block, so I guess I'd rather just have the land for Bloodgast. Oh. Yeah, because, like, I'd like to set up Feeder Cutthroat, but I have to jump block with the Cutthroat anyway, so that's not going to happen. Um, I don't think there's any reason to play. Now that my Blood guests are going to have haste. I don't think there's any reason to play the land now. If my opponent wastelands my scrub land, then. No, oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just get another white. I was thinking that I was going to be a one, but that's just not true on seven. Um, Problem is that now I'm going to be going to one. I guess means I should just play the swamp because I'm not going to be able to use the delta anyway. And now that I can't cast lingering souls, I'm in real trouble. I guess if I draw another cutthroat, I probably win. I guess I'm just putting my opponent at one, so if I draw like Blood Gaster or Lightning Bolt I win. Or Bombardment. Unless my opponent does something. That's not good. Lightning Bolt still wins it. Nope. Eh, ended up being pretty close. card down from winning, I guess, because I could have played Bombardment, attacked with both, my opponent blocks one, I sacrifice the other, then I play land, and then I 
attack both of them after damage, attack both of them after damage, then play land, get both blood gases back, and my opponent dies to the bombardment. So, very, very close. Um, I guess I want Big Game Hunter for Goyf. And I probably want to reward Justice. Meekstone is not unreasonable, but it really only stops Goyf. I don't think it's where I want to be. I think I do want Lightning Bolt because I expect that my opponent has Death Rite Shaman and maybe Scavenging Ooze. Um, I think I just got Skuller. Carrion Feeder first rather than Thoughtseize to give my opponent maximum time to draw Goyf and get more information in case I draw Therapy, especially because I have Lightning Bolt to answer Death Rite Shaman. I guess this is bad against Thoughtseize into Goyf. Also bad against that if that was the best card to take. Crucible Wasteland in my future. Something to look forward to. This is good, that'll answer Crucible. Crucible locks me out of the game pretty quickly, though. Um, don't like my chances of beating either card. So if I take Culligan's Command, I guess either way I just need to draw Lingering Souls. I think Crucible... Not sure which one gives me more time to draw Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls doesn't even do very much because of Graft Digger's Cage. I think I'm, I think I just can't beat Graft Digger's Cage here. Um, Command gives me a turn to draw another discard spell, I guess. So I'll take Crucible.
So now if I draw thoughts user therapy, I can therapy the glyph. Dark confidant, but any creature can kill that. Deck is so much more powerful than the top of my deck when there's a Graft Hickers Cage in play. To life, but I really think this game is unwinnable. I definitely can't beat that. Of course, I guess it didn't matter because this can buy a punishing card back anytime, anyway. Lily make his discard. Best out is Dark Confidant hitting uh, Blood Braid, and I draw two Lightning Bolts. Obviously, I could have bolted the Dark Confidant, but I really don't think I have a path that isn't Dark Confidant kills my opponent. There's only one lightning bolt left in my deck. Um, but if I draw it, then I actually have a reasonable shot at my opponent dying to Dark Confidant. I guess Bloodgast represents two damage. No, my opponent just kills it. It's a punishing fire. Well, I guess there's no reason not to catch this. No, 
lightning to name. Spike my lightning bolt there would have been sweet. That was bad. had been in the other order. Uh, now I'm dead. I guess my opponent would just be a one and not sacrifice the Verdant Catacombs and kill me with Bloodbraid Dark Confident Bolt. 